Hey everyone, Sawmill Charlie. Well, it's that time of year for me. It's feeding season. I've got my sugar water mixer here. It's full of 40 gallons of two to one sugar syrup. Uh, I've got previous videos. It tells you how I have this thing made. It's got a heater underneath of it, heats the water, melts the sugar. I've got a half inch drill motor that's connected to a stainless steel rod with an impeller on it, which is an agitator for it. Today I'm going to take and add Apis Biologic, better known as Rocket Fuel. Uh, if you're looking at it, there's two different types. There's one for pollen patties and there's also the type for sugar water. Bio Control is the one that you want for your sugar water. And I, I want to show you how I mix it and then add it to the mixing machine here. First thing I do is I get myself a quart jar. I fill it about three quarters full of water. I take and I got my B um, blender here, which is no more than a regular kitchen blender. I got it at a thrift store for about $5. You could probably find them also at a yard sale. So what I'm gonna do is, is I take and I pour the water into the blender. I've already figured out that it takes actually 17 grams of the powder of uh, Apis Biologic, which is one tablespoon and a little bit more. A tablespoon is actually 15 grams. I go in, I scoop it up and I just kind of shake it off the powder is just a little bit above the edge of the spoon, and that's close enough for me. Now the packaging, I, this package right here, I opened it up a year ago, and I've had it, and uh, it has a seal here on the top that you can reseal it. I wanna go over that with you also, the fact that if you open it up, you wanna reseal it, so you wanna use it for, let's say, next year, you also want to take it and put it in a Ziploc bag and then take this product and put it in your freezer. Now the powder inside is really bright yellow and when I open it up a year later out of the freezer it is still bright yellow so that's the way to preserve the integrity of the powder inside this packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here and get my tablespoon go inside and get a big scoop of it shake it off a little bit the extra as you can see it's a little bit proud of the edge of the uh, spoon i consider that close to being 17 grams i'm gonna go ahead and dump it in the uh, mixer here and I use the mixer because I found I used to dump it right into the uh, sugar water mixing machine and this stuff is a little hard for it to uh, dissolve in the sugar water I found using the uh, blender to be the best way to do it put the lid on hit the power button and it'll, I usually blend it for maybe about 30 seconds or so, maybe a minute at the most. And that's pretty good the way it is. As you can see, it's bright yellow. And what I do is, is of course, pour it into the quart jar and take it down to where the mixing machine is. Of course, I have it right here at this time. And I just go ahead and dump it into the solution. And that is pretty much it. And then I will go ahead and turn the mixer on in the um, mixing machine here and agitate it and get it stirred up into the 40 gallons of two to one sugar water. Of course, I just wanted to go over to you again seal the bag up tightly make sure that this seal that's built into the bag is secured put it in a ziploc bag and then put it in your freezer until the next time you need to use it so let's go out to the bee yard 
All right, everyone, we're out in the bee yard. I've got my truck with the 40 gallon tank in the back filled full of two, one sugar water with Apis Biologic in it. All I gotta do is turn the pump on. I've got my hose here with my valve at the end. All I have to do is go over here to the nukes and the 10 frame production hives and start filling top hive feeders. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm all suited up. I'm gonna go ahead and take the top lid off. I have filled these hot pie feeders up one time. I'm gonna go ahead and fill them back up again. Doesn't take but about, oh, maybe a minute. It holds about three quarts of liquid in these top pie feeders. You can see the bees up in here and also here coming up and going down the inside ladder grabbing liquid so far i haven't had any problems with them getting inside the uh, feeder keep it pretty tight sometimes i have to use inner covers to uh, keep the bees out of especially the robber bees they'll kind of get up in between the lid and the feeder and then, of course, it, we have a drowning problem. And if it's yellow jackets, I don't really care about that, but uh, still I'd rather keep the feeders clean then I don't have to clean them out. And if you can hear it, as soon as I turn the valve off on this hose, the pump shuts down. That's because it has a pressure, pressure switch on it. And when the pressure goes up, it turns the pump off. And the pump is connected directly to the power source, which is my pickup truck lighting system. I fixed that last year. I uh, got rid of the batteries and all that kind of stuff. Just hooked it into the brake light system that is for pulling a trailer using the ground and a hot wire, which is 12 volts. I find it quite amazing that even though these hives have honey already in them, they bees will still take a quite a bit of sugar water. So let's go ahead and walk on down the line. All right, we're here at this uh, nuke, and I take the lid off, and then you find the inner cover, which seals the um, top high feeder so the bees won't get in there. Sometimes my lids, the sideboard is a little bit longer and rests on the bottom of the feeders here, which in turn jacks it up and the bees can get in there and drown. So I do that to alleviate that problem. This is really a back saver. If you got more than let's say five hives and you're doing buckets, it's time to try to switch over to a bulk feeding system with a pump. It's gonna shave your back and shoulders and everything, make life a lot easier. And then all I do is put the Inner cover back on, put the lid back on. This one also had an inner cover, just came off inside the lid. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling the rest of these nukes up and then we'll get into the production hives and we'll bring the camera back and let you watch that. All right, I'm at a 10 frame production hive. I normally just fill half of this feeder. It'll hold four gallons. This side right here will hold two gallons. And uh, that way my sugar water will last and be able to fill up all the top hive feeders in my row. Um, it would be, if I felt, filled up both of them 
I'd have to take at least two tankfuls to, in order to do that for all the hives. So we're filling them up. Bees are trying to get in. They always try to land on the water and then they'll want to die or drown actually. So try to scoop them out before I close the lid up. And I bring it up just below the inner part of the screen there where the bees come up out of the hive to get the sugar water. And that's good enough. Just a minute or two, there's a couple floaters in there. They want to go to swimming in the swimming pool. So, get them out of there. And put the inner cover back on. And then we're off to the next. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, filling the top high feeders and learning how to store your Apis Biologic from year to year. So until next time, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share my videos with your friends, and have fun with your bees.